This is the Speak for Yourself Augmentative and Alternative Communication app. I'm Heidi Lestraco, and this short little video is going to explain to you how to open and close words in the Speak for Yourself app. So this is the app with everything open, and a lot of times people are a little bit overwhelmed by the buttons um, on this main screen. So what you can do to start off, if you have a user who is not quite ready for this vocabulary all at once, is you can go up here to the upper right hand corner to open and close and you're going to touch that and you see it changes and it says open and close words. Now down in the bottom right hand corner there's the option to close all so you're going to touch close all and you see everything kind of gets grayed out and then what you can do is just touch the words that you want to start with. So you could touch eat, drink, I, go, stop, more, whatever you'd like and then when you're done, in the upper right hand corner, you're going to touch done. And there you go. You've closed the words on the main screen of Speak for Yourself. Now say that, you know, that's great. Now you have all of this bl um, blank space and all of this dead space so that if a child has some trouble with fine motor issues, they can kind of fine tune those a little bit. What you could do though here is you could touch the E button and you see, oops, I'm going to open all of this back up. So if you wanted to open it, you could go like this and open everything in that bottom right hand corner as well. But you see if you have everything open, what you can do is you can go to this bottom right hand corner and touch close all. And then you could just choose a couple of things, you know, so if you just want a few of, if your you know, child's just starting to use it maybe at breakfast, you could say, oh, okay, let me give them some options for breakfast and see if they want pancake or cereal to be opened. And then when you're done that, in the upper right hand corner again, you're going to touch done. And now you have that vocabulary limited as well. So you can do that. I just want to mention also in this video that if you're starting out and you want to close a lot of the words on the secondary screen, there are about 5,000 words that come pre-programmed in the Speak for Yourself app. Another option, what you could do, is you could go into the settings in that DAISY settings up in the upper right hand corner. And where, where it says use beginner's vocabulary template, right about in the middle there, you can select that. Oh, I'm sorry. You could select use beginner vocabulary template. And it's going to tell you that um, once you do this, this is something you want to do in the beginning because this is actually going to replace your vocabulary file that's in there. So if you've done programming, this is not something that you want to do. But if you've just opened the app and you're, and you're thinking, I need to close a lot of vocabulary, this is going to take your vocabulary from about, about 5,000 words to a little over 200 words. So you can go in here and you can say apply template. And now you see that a lot of these secondary screens have the word, some of the words closed out for you. So if you had everything open on the screen, then you see how filled that is. And then if you, um, but the way that that template works is that it actually takes some of the buttons away on each of the pages. So it makes it a more manageable vocabulary. All of the words are still there. It doesn't delete anything. It just closes them out for you so that you don't have to go screen by screen to do that. That was um, based on some feedback from speech language pathologists that we did that. So there you go. That is how you open and close words in the Speak for Yourself app. Thank you.